We are about to begin the building process of the frame for your shelter. This process will work for both an XT or XT Pro crossover model fish house. It is important to note that regardless of the shelter, the steps will be the same. For this depiction, we have removed the seats and it is going to be easier to remove the seats before beginning this process. We are going to tip up the sled. You are going to locate the pre-markings under the lip of your sled. You're going to take your drill and drill these markings. We are now located in the rear of the sled. We are going to repeat the same process and locate the markings under the lip and drill just as we did in the front. We are now going to take our frame bracket B on the rear of the sled and install it to the sled. Simply just paste, placing it right through the holes that we just drilled. Securing it with a washer on the bottom and a nut and just hand tightening for now. The same process will be repeated on the front of the sled with the frame bracket A. We are now going to assemble the frame. As you can see here, all of them are labeled to where they properly go on the fish house. Once you've determined where these should be located, we're just going to simply click them together. That easy lock, no more screws or anything like that. You just simply click it together, just like that. It's not coming apart. And we'll go to the opposite side. You're going to do the exact same thing. Just simply click it in there, just like so. Now that that is completed, you're going to take our black clips right here and put them on the end of the, the frame pieces. We are now going to take our newly assembled frame and connect it to our frame bracket on our sled. Simply take the end of this frame, right where your black piece is that you just inserted, and put it into the frame bolt. And we're going to hand tighten that on with a nut. We're going to repeat this process on the opposite side, just as we did here. We're going to continue to assemble the frame pieces just like we did here, except for there is going to be a difference on the last piece on the floor, which we'll show next. The last step to the assembly process of the frame is doing the bottom piece that is going to be laying on the ice. As you can see, these pieces are not assembled directly from us at the factory. What you are going to need to do is ensure that your curve is facing towards the middle, insert that into this piece with your snap facing towards the middle. Simply push it together with this black piece coming across and going into this hole here. You'll now have it clicked in place. The snap button, when pulled out, will come and snap into this black piece now. Now you simply can push that in, connect it to your other frame piece, and connect it to your shelter like you have done with the rest of the frame pieces. Now with the frame connected to the frame bracket, we're going to go and tighten these nuts on the bolts of the frame bracket to ensure that they're snug but not over tightened. We recommend that you tighten them enough where that bolt is just about coming through the nut. That can now be shown as depicted here. Now with the frame secure to the frame brackets, we're going to go and tighten these nuts down that we only hand tightened earlier. Simply flip this up, take your ratchet or in this case we're using an impact and tighten these down. We're going to repeat this on the opposite side.
We're now going to install our quick switch brackets on our frame. Simply lift up your frame, set it in there as it acts as a sandwich, put your backside of your bracket on, squeezing it at the same time. For this you will need a screwdriver and just snugging it up for now as we will need to measure to ensure the brackets are located in the right location. We're now going to measure from the end of the black to the middle of this piece right here to ensure that we have the correct distance on our bracket. I like to go to about four and a half inches because we recommend from four to five inches and four and a half is right in the middle. Once I have the correct spot, I'm going to tighten that down. We are now going to rotate the sled and tip it up so we can locate the marking on the rear of the sled under the lip. We are going to go and drill that hole. Just like so. This is going to be used for our rear wind pull in the next step.
We are now going to begin the process of putting the canvas onto the frame. But first we need to insert the wing poles to be able to do this. So what we're going to do is Michael's going to help me because this is easier with two individuals. Um, so we're going to do this quickly and try to show you guys the most efficient way. So we're going to start by expanding this pole. We're going to set that down, just like so. We're going to repeat that with all of these poles. Set it down. This third one will rest on this top here. Okay, now that we have all of the frame expanded, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the rear wind pole. They are labeled here that indicate which pole is what, but you also know because this has the black plastic peg on it here. That's gonna go right into that rear pole that we just drilled in the previous installation. There's also a knob here that allows us to adjust that. We're gonna turn that to the left, which is gonna allow us to loosen that. We're gonna insert that into the hole, expand it here, and clip it in. Slightly tightening the plastic knob. We're now gonna take the top back and connect it to the middle, and then the rear. We're now going to go to the piece with the pivot. This pull is also adjustable. Which we will mess with the adjustment in the canvas fitting. It is important to have the second individual hold this pole for you while you get the front adjusted. We now have the wind poles in place and can begin the canvas installation process. We're now going to lay out the canvas. So it's completely wide. You will notice that the rear of the canvas is right here. So what Michael and I are going to do, we're going to take this, we're going to lift it over, once you get towards the rear you will need to do some adjusting as you come. Note the corners are fitted so you will know when you've reached the right spot. Now that the canvas is over the frame, we are going to need to Velcro the canvas to the frame. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to actually go inside here and take out the frame pieces and fold it backwards and Velcro the canvas to the frame as we set it back up. We're now going to begin putting on the trim lock. So what this is going to allow us to do is to secure this canvas to the sled. So we're going to start on the back side here with the longest piece. We're going to push that on to the sled, just like so. I now have this piece on there. I'm not going to put my screws in yet because I'm going to do all four sides and the last two pieces here to ensure that the canvas is fitting properly and if I need to make any adjustments before screwing the canvas to the sled and not putting holes into my canvas. So now I'm going to go around and do that. <laughs> 